Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very tired Moltrav coming at you tiredly with a game between NBC Game, the uh, the team, not the channel, although it is being broadcast on the channel, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, and uh, Air Force, Air Force Ace, and um, kind of looking forward to this matchup. NBC Game, not that good of a team right now. Um, you know, they've got C. C is basically their only good player on their, to their team, and... Um, you know, they're just not that good uh, in general these days. I think they've been kind of treading water, doing not horribly. I mean, they haven't fallen below Easter or anything like that in the Pro League, but um, not doing terribly well. And uh, they're sending out a guy by the name of Saint. I believe he used to be one of their 2v2 players back when they had 2v2. And, um, yeah, he's going to be facing any time. I'm sorry if I'm a little low on energy right now. I'm kind of kind of tired for some reason. And, uh, of course, I need to be working on my master's thesis right now, so, um, I thought I'd squeeze in a few commentaries. I'm gonna be trying, I'm gonna try and do as much of this set as possible, um, if whatever I have time for, um, or, you know, my roommate comes back from wherever she is, then I'll probably have to stop that as well, so, um, <coughs> I guess it'll work for anti-spoil, because then, if you go on here and there's only four games done, um, you're not going to know if it was a 4-0 sweep, or if it was, um, just the first four games done, and there's actually seven. Anyway, I don't know the results of this match, so, so don't worry. Um, ugh, wow, I'm really off the mode. I'm going to try and jump into this stuff here. I'm sure once the action starts, I'll get into it. It's funny how usually, I mean, even if I'm feeling really frustrated or... You know, angry or want to quit StarCraft. Uh, if I start up a commentary, just as soon as the game starts, I kind of forget about that stuff and I go into it pretty well. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, but yeah, um, we're supposed to be working my master's thesis right now. It was due a few days ago. It had the rough draft of my master, my whole thesis was due a few days ago, and uh, yeah, I, I um, didn't do it. What is oh, what is Saint doing? Is he going to try to pull a, a Jadong here? and uh, get uh, a hidden expansion in the top right behind... By the way, this is Anytime. Anytime versus Jay, um, versus, versus Saint. And, uh, oh, actually, what he's probably going to try and do is mine out that little mineral patch and try and sneak some Zerglings in the back. He's gone for an early pool. Um, he's not going for the gas for... Um, go for a speed upgrade, but he has gotten an early pool down, and so he's probably going to try and run Zerglings in behind that because he knows there's going to be cannons at the front. Oh, but anytime spots it, anytime spots the um, the zergling there, and I'm I'm not sure if he can attack uh, that drone or not from the other side. But he's he's trying to. Um, it looks like he's trying to mine it and then stop mining it or something. Maybe he's trying to mess up the mining uh, somehow by doing that. But um, yeah, so anytime has spotted it, so he's probably gonna be able to deal with a little rush. And I wouldn't be surprised if Saint just uh, changes his plans. Yeah, it looks like his drone was getting attacked a little bit. It's down in health right now, so the probe is actually attacking it to prevent it from um, finishing off its mining abilities there. And the Zerglings are out, and they're not going to be able to go around the back. Anytime has those cannons in the front, and uh, or at least one cannon, probably a second one warping in now as well. Um, and those are going to be able to stop anything from going on here. If he had speed upgrade and he was, he was putting in a lot more Zerglings, he might be able to do some damage here. But I don't think, don't think he's going to be able to. I don't know if Anytime's probe is still alive in his base. If it is, he's definitely going to be able to see whether or not um, he's building more Zerglings or not. And there's a drone going at the minerals again, the probe attacking it once again, once um, Anytime spotted that. And the, he's just going to try and run his drone back and forth. He really wants to mine those minerals out. But I don't think he's going to be able to. It takes a long, long time. It takes a long time to mine through those things. And he may try and squeeze the... The Zerglings through. It, it may, I'm not sure if it's almost mined out or something. He seems to be c continuing to try and mine it, um, despite the probe picking away at that drone. And uh, anytime has a cannon in his main now, so it doesn't really matter. And Saint in the meantime is, is used. It. He's provided a decent amount of distraction. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt anytime really too much. Uh, he's put down those cannons already anyway, but it's not like he's um, caused him to pull probes off the line or anything like that. Um, and in fact, Anytime didn't even have to have probes on his front line um, because he knew the Zerglings were behind his base. So there you go. Oh, oh, does not stop the probe from getting in. The probe gets in. He's going to be able to spot whatever tech is going on, see another hatchery going down in uh, Saint's base. Saint's a little bit perturbed by the fact that he let that probe in there. 
but um, nothing, no tech going down yet, not even a gas yet, which is a little bit strange to get four hatcheries before the gas. Usually you get your gas after your third hatchery, but I guess he really wants to try and catch up with economy, uh, since he did spend some money on um, Zerglings early on, an early pool. He sent out an early drone, one of his earlier drones, to try and um, mine out that mineral patch there. So let's see, no, still no lair or anything like that um, at the natural expansion either. I doubt he would put his lair at his third base, because that would be too easy to lose, and then he'd be really behind if he lost that, make it for a really big target for any time. But, um... Yeah, what's going on here? So, he, well, I guess, well, of course he doesn't have a Lariat because he just started mining gas. But, um, so, never mind, that doesn't make sense. But, uh, still a little bit strange for him to get his, his extractor down a little bit later. That's kind of, um, abnormal, I guess. But, um, anyway, so anytime is looking to be in a pretty good position here. He's got his core going up already. He's going to be way ahead in tech. Um, and he can pretty much know that Saint is going to be going for a Hydro spill at this point because. He can't wait for the Spire. The, the Corsairs will be out way, way, way sooner than the Spire would be up. So there's no way he can wait for a Spire to get Scourge out to deal with um, the first Corsairs. Um, he, he knows that uh, Saint is going to have to uh, get get things down earlier, get a den down so he can get some Hydralists to block those Corsairs. So it's, it's almost as if he can just kind of predict what's going to happen. There's the den going down with probably the, the 50 minerals just following, I'm sorry, 50 gas just following the uh, the lair. And he is going to spot that citadel though. Uh, so Saint in turn is going to know kind of what he's planning. Um, he knows he's going to go for, well, well, he could be going for Templar or he could be going for uh, speed lots instead. And uh, there's the uh, evolution chamber going up. It's very important to get that early uh, Carapace upgrade as a, as a Zerg player um, because the Protoss is usually going to try and get a very early plus one weapons upgrade. So you want to keep up with that. And yeah, there's the plus one weapons spinning already. So he is going to be ahead, and usually the Protoss is going to want to attack. Um, if, if they manage to get their weapons done before the Carapace. Um, then there's going to be a window between when they have er better weapons and, and between that and when the Zerg gets their carapace upgraded. And so usually Protoss is going to make their attacks between that little window, um, whether it be from 0 to plus, plus 1 or from plus 1 to plus 2 or something like that. Either way, um, just doing a little harassment with that Corsair, but it's not going to accomplish anything. Those Hydralisks, Hydralisks are out. Um, so I'm not surprised he's going straight for Templar attack. Um, probably, I mean, he's going to, I'm not sure if he's going to go for some sort of kind of, no, he's probably not going to go for Sarah DT, actually, because he only has a couple Corsairs out, and he's not making any more Corsairs at this point. So, probably just going to, um, you know, build up, get some High Templar. Once he has Storm, he'll be able to move out, and uh, there, there won't be a whole lot that Saint can do about it, because I don't think Saint will be able, well, it depends on Saint's macro, I guess, how he's going to be able to do this. It, he may or may not be able to, um build up enough forces to, to push back, but once he has, you know, a decent chunk of, of you know, plus one speed lots, uh, theoretically speed lots, I don't know if he's going to go for speed upgrade this early or not, um, but once he has plus one uh, zealots and uh, some high templar to, you know, fend off the masses, he'll be golden, he'll be able to do, just move out and probably take a third base and macro up off third and fourth base, that kind of thing, or he could go for an early attack, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, anyway. Whew. So I don't, I don't know why I don't have any energy right now. I apologize for that, but uh, like I said, hopefully I'll, I'll pick up some energy from the game right here as it goes on. So Dark Templar going in here and um, does get a couple hits on him, but he's going to be able to get out of the way before he gets a couple kills too, and that's critical. Uh, he didn't just run in and then run out, run out. He actually got a kill or two, it looked like, on some drones. So that was kind of nice. There are the speed upgrades out. So he does have speed upgrade after all here. And he is going to move out a little bit here. Uh, there's the plus one. So he is going for a bit of a plus one rush. He's got a couple uh, Dark Templar in the mix and uh, a couple Corsairs around as well. I think he, he's probably going to have enough overlords that, this, that the Sairs aren't going to matter too much. He's probably going to be able to drive this off. But actually, Saint going for a flank um, while... Anytime he's going into the, the natural expansion, Satan is coming in with his forces from behind, and he needs to kill off that sunken really quick so he can turn around and face these forces coming in. The drones are going to have to turn tail and run. Corsair's in the in the mix, moving the, the overlords out of the way, but again, there's just too many overlords, so the Dark Templar isn't going to be terribly effective. He's going to have to back that Dark Templar off, and in the meantime, just a few extra Hydralists are going to polish off these zealots. 
Zealot's doing a lot of damage.